uh, obsessive compulsive disorder commonly known as OCD it's a mental health condition condition those the characterized by persistent intrusive and distressing thoughts or obsessions as well as repetitive behaviors or compuls- compulsions performed in response to these obsessions you know what exactly it means right so as i told you we keep on coming back to how just to check if the door is locked or not on the knob there and suddenly we forget okay did you keep the keys there or we got to come back and check that key there okay and now something about you washing your hands keep washing your hands for what so there's some kind of obsession and you uh, kind know of, uh, uh, we feel oh 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 kya ho gaya i don't know should i have germs in my hand i don't know if i have to keep washing it so initially it it helps a lot but later it becomes kind of very obsessive so these are obsession people with ocd often find it challenging to control their thoughts and behaviors those so keeps on bugging you in your mind oh i didn't know if i locked the door or not should i go back and check it again and we do it compulsory this not right i guess but we have to keep reassuring ourselves yes we did so the fear and the behaviors which can certainly and significantly impact our daily lives and functioning so let's get to the little breakdown of the key components of uh, ocd obsessive compulsive disorder with a real life example number 1 obsession obsessions are unwanted those to make a note here unwanted and distressing thoughts they are not required but we still do it all right obsessions are unwanted and distressing thoughts images or urges that repeatedly enters a person's mind where it enters how it enters when it enters we have no clue but it does i'm sure a lot of us do go through that these thoughts are often irrational it means no sense at all all right anxiety pro- provoking that means it keeps you at tense all the time damn i got to do this why 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 and difficult to ignore and you can't get over it either i hope you understand what i'm trying to bring you common obsessions those the let's make a note here common obsessions we all go through is including fears of contamination as i told you contamination of anything oh and fear of thoughts of harm something bad happening be- befalling one self or others or a need for symmetry and disorder lot of people you come across it has to be this way only is my way or highway there's no other way so this is ocd I mean like you know life can go on with everything but yes they're so kind of obsessed with that the chair has to be this way otherwise it's not there the 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 bathroom has to be this way otherwise it's not there these are obsessions kind of stuff you know so you say and do it and forget that's fine i guess okay let's have an example of this to so example uh, lali okay a person uh, lali has ocd she has ocd the obsessive compulsive disorder and one of her obsession is a fear of germs and illness what she does now let's think let's go over it she constantly worries that touching door knobs or shaking hands with people will lead to her getting sick this is a crazy thought right it is all right uh, that's, that's obsession so these thoughts make her extremely anxious so she tries to withdraw herself from shaking hands with people and she keeps on scrubbing 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 her hands All right number 2 is compulsion those two so one part is obsession other part is compulsion compulsion are repetitive behaviors or mental acts so it could be physically acting upon it or mentally also emotionally you drain the energy that individuals with ocd perform in an attempt to reduce their distress that taklif jo mushkil jo hoti hai mentally emotionally so to reduce that thing no uh distress caused by their obsessions or prevent the feared outcome outcome to hota hi nahi but it's a fear of the outcome maybe it may happen it may not happen it may happen that fear we have to overcome these behaviors those who are often excessive beyond normal all right time consuming and may not have a realistic connection to the fear even as i told you oh building gir jayegi building gir jayegi kahan se gir jayegi building there's a fear in your mind and you imagine there's ocd obsessive compulsive building to girne wali nahi hai but it the, the fear takes over and you avoid going near the building all right all right so now <clears throat> so what happens is okay connection to the fear okay example in response to her obsession about germs and illness 
Lali engages in a compulsive hand washing ritual. Make a note here, ritual. Okay, it's not reality. It's ritual. Keep on doing it. So she washes her hands repeatedly throughout the day, often using excessive amount of soap or scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing for minutes at a time, even to the point where her skin becomes red and irritated. All right. This is very, very, very important. Not just so. I mean, we start as a small kind of a thing, but as it keep develops, friends, yeh to there's no end to it. Kahan jayega, kahan pahunchega? We have no clue at all. Number three, okay, cycle of obsession and compulsion. It's a cycle. All right. So OCD creates a cycle where obsessions trigger compulsions, and compulsions provide temporary relief from the anxiety associated with the obsession. However, this relief this relief is short lived and the cycle continues as the obsession returns again so it requires a lot of uh, i mean consultation with the doctors or friends or who are really strong example now lali's obsession about germs leads her to wash her hands compulsively initially she feels some relief but the anxiety returns when she encounters another potential source of contamination restarting the cycle all the way back to again square one all right now number four is impairment and distress make a note here those two impairment and distress ocd significantly impairs a person's daily functioning and quality of life all right so we have seen that we keep on slapping ourselves in front of wherever we go to uh, in front of a temple darga this that i mean that we keep on doing it we don't understand what's the ritual there because otherwise something bad is going to happen to us all right so it's nothing like that but it's a, it's a ocd obsessive compulsive keep on doing even if you're not in front of a temple or a church or a mosque you still keep doing it I mean saying that, oh something bad may happen it's nothing is going to happen nothing is going to happen but we have to reassure yourself i mean even the creator doesn't want is okay it's a fear that creator is going to destroy us i don't think so he's interested in destroying us all right all right so now uh, okay <clears throat> so impairment and distress is talking about that significantly impairs a person's daily function and quality of life individuals with ocd often spend a significant amount of, amount of time engaging in their compulsion which can interfere with the work can interfere with the relationship with the husband wife children friends and other essential activities the distress caused by the obsessions and compulsions can be emotionally exhausting those though all right here's a, i'm talking about this uh, example lali's excessive hand washing rituals consume several hours of her day she avoids social gatherings and struggles to maintain relationships due to her fear of contamination her distress and preoccupation with germs affect her overall well being i have seen a lot of patients believe me in my practice also it's important to note that ocd is a treatable condition it can be treated there has to be reassurance by somebody who is much better who is more stronger than you or a doctor maybe a good friend so and various therapeutic approaches including cognitive behavioral therapy cbt and medication can help individuals manage their symptoms and improve their quality of life if you or someone you know is struggling with ocd seeking professional help from a mental health provider is advisable to receive appropriate treatment and support those to will this we are going to end the talk about this but if you have any comment please do write uh, your comment on facebook or also uh, youtube comment box that will really help everybody to overcome i mean we don't realize that how many of us go through this i go through it also is because in, with my patients i keep on washing my hands putting on two gloves three gloves i mean like you know it's nothing like the body has got immune system to work on that but different forms of obsession like closing the door checking the knock back and forth open push the door put you'll break the door all right so obviously so uh, so please put your comments in this all right so let's see now uh, 